welcome to my youtube channel in case it, it is your very first time here you are welcome to our youtube channel kindly consider subscribing and for our returning subscribers we love you so much receive kisses anywho's guys Today, I want to talk about my experience in Excel. I was arrested on my birthday. Who arrest someone on their birthday? Kenyan police. Shubwandi. Shubwandi. I was arrested on my birthday. Bilaibu. So, guys, it was on 2nd July this year. I woke up early in the morning cleaned my house but at about nine i was already done i bath i went to town to at least make could you prepare like, yeah shopping nini nini could shop for the tomorrow like the event was to be the next day so the celebration that small celebration was to be the next day that was on my birthday so i went to shop after that i made my nails i plated my hair and it was oh my hair still new so you can see do you love it uh pokoya's comment section so <laughs> i'm usually stupid i joke too much anywho's so after kutengenezo nyele, plating, making my nails, I had already ordered for the cake, so I was just to go pick it. I went pick, to pick it. After picking the cake, I went to buy drinks. I bought the drinks. I wanted to finish all my business on second, so that on third, tunamukana ma shere, 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 na shere, aitaki asira. Itaki mabombo manika. Inataka tu makonto maiba. Bil nitalipa taka mani kuririma. A for A, B for Kanali. Anywho's, who song is that? Anywho's, so it was Shere. I walk, hey. So after the everything I did, everything I was at the house by 5 p.m. By 5.30, I told my friends, can we go out at least shop? Uh, like, buy supper, not shopping. Buy supper at least. Because I had not eaten the whole day. I was so hungry. So, siku, I never got time to eat. So, I told my friends, let's go out. Buy supper. So, we went. We went. It was just a Kania by market center. If you know where I live, you know that market center. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> reaching the market center, as um, Mama Mboga told us, you guys, you see the policemen are coming from the other side. They were coming from Kanyamera. They told us they are coming from Kanyamera. Kumbe, they were coming from Uzima area. So, we said, Juwakonyumaetu, let's buy the masks. So, we went, bought masks, to Rinaenda, like we were going to the shop, we buy the mask. Reaching that shop, we were told the masks are not available, they are not in stock, so we moved to the next shop. So, <coughs> so we saw some tuk tuk a green one coming and a motorbike they were rushing like they were in a high speed not rushing kisungu kisungu what appear would you you who is laughing you don't know that english now <laughs> now these people hmm, what they did nikaona watu wanatoka kwa kwa ndani ya tuktuk they stopped abruptly, then what waka took happen bio. So you see in Kenya for us 
you don't identify the cause or why, why people are running. Just run when you see people running. Run, run, run. So, as usual, usual Kenyans, not knowing where these people were going or come, or why were they, like, just run. Utauliza the cause of what happened when the people stopped running. So, are the markets uh, were running? Kumbe, these people, they were running after us. Hey, guys. So, being that I'm not a Kalenji, the lawyer in me, I was, I was caught. The policeman caught me. So after being caught, I, I was told. Now I was like, why, why are you catching me? Like, they were not in uniform, so, like, how can someone arrest you without a uniform and they're pulling you carelessly? I told him, why are you pulling me? Stop it. As in, why are you pulling me? Stop it. I call like, wapi mask, wapi mask. Then I was like, mask? <laughs> I was going to buy the mask. Honestly, actually, we are the police and we have to arrest you because I'm not a mask. Come on, be then stop pulling, pulling me like that. Stop handling me carelessly. Larry the die, no. Was going to get a hot slap. <laughs> Someone slapped me. They slapped me a big deal. So after that, after being slapped, the Land Rover was already there. Like ilikuwa in our nyuma, so was already there. To kaingizo andani a Land Rover, nini nini. So they kept collecting people. That was about 5.30. They collected people up till Bado 6.30. They're still collecting other people. They go to another market center. They ambush people. They, they arrest them. Another market center. They ambush people. They arrest them. So I decided to call home. Because if I could have called 7.30 at 7. Because... The cafe was seven seven thirty, not seven. It was seven in Kisumu. Then, so I called home. I was. I told them I've been arrested because he wore a mask. My strict parents, why don't you walk with masks? But it was just a near by market center. No, why don't you walk with masks? Now they were asked to talk to the policemen. They refused. They couldn't talk to them we are not going to talk to anyone hey now sir i begged there some lady who was also a policewoman so she told she she received a call so after talking to my parent about 30 sec 30 minutes not minutes that about one minute to two minutes cv she hung up then she asked me who is that where is he even Talking to me rudely. Eh? I was like, rudely? What is he? Who does he think he is? That's when I ended up in the cell. Some people were bailed out that night. It was already curfew time when I reached at the cell about 7.30. So my parents told me, we cannot come bail you out this time. We sh you should wait until like it's in the morning about like at least in the morning so that we can come because you know curfew is over is all over in Kisumu by seven so it's already curfew time so at, at night no kabla kwanza kabla tuingizwe tukaingizwe on dania cell so when they that woman was police was opening the cell door. Now the inmates, Ukoju, they're like, hey, we are coming to monolize you. Hey, being traumatized. We have never been in the cell. I've never been in the cell, for heaven's sake. And now you're being traumatized. Yeah, then I was like, it's okay, it happened. 
So we are going to monolize you. To monolize you. It was an impesa message. No wonder. <laughs> we are going to monolize you guys. We <laughs> so we open when we entered in Mets. Have you ever seen Chokosh? If you don't know Chokoraz, Chokoraz. Kuna Chokora madem. Watu kusel wananuka. People in the cell are stinking. People in the cell are dirty. Now they come because you are a fresher in that cell. They want to mishandle you. Then we are told to go back. Unambiwa wende uoge usiku majibaridi. Si majibaridi tu. But imagine it's a place. This place is very dirty. The sewage system all over is worse. So it was not it was not just good. Good environment. You are bathing without soap. And the water you are fetching it in the jug. Do you fetch water in the jug? You are supposed to bath. When you come to the cell, it's a ritual. You have to bet. So we bet that water. Very cold. So after bathing, uh, after bathing, I was there. So, <laughs> I've never told you this. There is homosexuality in the cells. Wasichana wanakulana. Hey, now there is some poor girl who was raped in the cell. So I was the next target. Now they were speaking in Luo because me, I don't know Luo. So my friends told me they're saying this. This and this, this and this in Luo that they want to rape you. you they wanna sleep with you. Tikwanza ako keupe yo kazuri. Oh god. I couldn't even go to that like is all rooms. I sl we slept in the corridor. Me, my friends, some other people were brought at about ten PM. So we slept on the corridors. So at the corridor, these people came, used to come at night. They're like, you guys, Ati, you, you girl, come. They're calling me now. You, young, young lady, come. Come, I will tell you something. Ne, 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 ne. But I was already warned. I couldn't go. Who wants to be far? <sighs> <laughs> lady who wants to get HIV and AIDS <laughs> so I couldn't reach in the morning after about 3 3.30 a.m. because it was cold and I usually have chest problems so my chest was congested I couldn't breathe like you are wheezing I was wheezing so the inmates had me wheezing they banged the doors until the police, the prison police that was on duty came. When she came, she opened the door. I was taken to the hospital. Being taken to the hospital with the pingus. Who knows the name of the pingus in English? In English. Where? With the pingus on. As if Mimi ni Mufungwa. Kenya. Kenya. Kenya, my country, my beautiful country. Just because of mask, I'm being taken to the hospital with pingos on. As if I killed somebody. So it happened like that. In the morning, my parents came. They were here to her. They were to wait. They had to wait for the for the OCS to come. The OCS came to the cell, uh, like Apokwa cell, 
at about around 11 i was bailed out by 12 it is on my birthday you are just thinking the cell hey unanuka to cell it was your birthday unanuka to cell your friends were calling you are off because you left the phones at the reception nini nini now you reach home opening your phone your boyfriend is there with so many many texts of how you are sleeping with men i just knew there is a man who was making uh, who are uh, to hold for you about the now you are sleeping with that man i'm like come on i was arrested he was like no you cannot fake you cannot lie to me i'm not a young small baby in any any because he had moved since me, I had to leave it at that. And that's how <laughs> I was left on my birthday, being arrested. I was still sick, trying to recover. No, maybe I was arrested, trying to recover. It's my on my birthday. I have to do the birthday that day because I had already bought the cake the previous day. So I never wanted it to get spoiled. So we did the birthday. It was wonderful. Comment down there below whatever happened to you. What happened to you? Have you been ever been arrested? What did you do that landed you into the police custody? And what was your experience? Trust me. First timer, it's not what that easy. Goodbye. Love you. Goodbye. Consider subscribing. Like, comment, and share. Bye.